Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O our God, glory to you. Heavenly King, console the spirit of truth, present in all places and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come dwell in us, cleanse us of all stain, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive us our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, look upon us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King, and bow down before Him. Come, let us worship Christ God our King, and bow down before Him. Come, let us worship Christ Himself, our King and our God, and bow down before Him. Bless the Lord, O my soul, you are very great, O Lord my God, clothed in pomp and brilliance, arrayed with light as with a cloak. Stretching out the sky as a tent cloth, covering your lofty halls with water. You make the clouds your conveyance, you surge on the wings of the wind. You make spirits your messengers and flaming fires your attendants. You settle the earth on its firm foundation, it shall stand and move from age to age. The abyss covers it like a garment, waters stand over the mountains. At your rebuke they will take to flight, at the peal of your thunder they will fear. They hurdle the hills and run down the dales to the place you have chosen for them. You have set up a boundary not to be passed. They shall never return to cover the earth. Down in the gullies you make springs to rise. Water shall go down between the mountains. They shall give drink to the beasts of the field. Wild asses will seek them to quench their thirst. The birds of the sky will abide by them. From among the rocks they will raise their song. From your lofty halls you refresh the mountains. The earth shall be fed with the fruit of your works. You make green pastures for the cattle and food plants for the service of man, so that bread may be brought forth from the earth and wine that gladdens the heart of man, so that oil may put a gleam upon his face and that bread may strengthen the heart of man. The trees of the plain will be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon that he planted. The sparrows will build their nests in them, and the herons will call them their home. To the deer belong high mountains, to rodents the shelter of the rocks. You have made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows the time of its setting. You establish darkness, and it is night, wherein the forest creatures prowl around. Young lions roar for their prey and call out to God for their meat. As the sun rises, they will come together and lay themselves down in their dens. Man will go out to his labor and work until eventide. How great are your works, O Lord, in wisdom you have brought them all. The earth is filled with your creatures. Even the wide and open sea itself, within it there are countless creeping things, living beings, small and large. Upon it there are ships assailing, and that great beast you made to have fun. All of them look up to you to give them their food in due time. You provide and they gather up, you open your hand and they are full. You hide your face and they cringe, you suspend their breath and they die and return to their dust. You send forth your breath and they live, you renew the face of the earth. May the Lord's glory endure forever, may the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks upon the earth and makes it quake, he touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live, I will praise my God as long as I last. Would that my thoughts be pleasing to him and I will rejoice in the Lord. May the sinners vanish from the earth, and may the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. 
The sun knows the time of its setting. You establish darkness, and it is night. How great are your works, O Lord, in wisdom you have wrought them all. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. O our hope, Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace from on high and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, the well-being of the holy churches of God and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy place and for those who entered with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Honorable Bishop Francois, the Honorable Presbyterate, the Diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the civil authorities, for the government and the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the city, for every city and country place, and the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the travelers by sea, air and land, and for the sick, the suffering, for those in captivity, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Let us remember our all-holy, spotless, most highly blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary with all the saints, and commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ God. To you, our Lord. For all glory, honor, and worship are your due, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Set a 
guard, O oh Lord, before my mouth, and a portal around my lips. Take my heart away from evil dealings, <coughs> from finding excuses for sinful deeds. In company with men who work iniquity, let me not partake of what they choose. May a just man chasten me with justice and reprove me. May the oil of the wicked never touch my head. Yet even then shall I pray for their welfare, their rulers were swallowed near the rock. My words will be heard, for they were sweet as a lump of thy broken on the ground, so their bones were strewn near the grave. To you, Lord, O oh Lord, my eyes are lifted up, in you have I hope, let not my soul be lost. Keep me from the snare that was set up for me, and from the stumbling blocks of wicked men. The wicked shall fall into their own nets while I remain alone until I can escape. With my voice I cried out to the Lord, with my voice I implored the Lord. Before him I pour out my supplication, before him I declare my distress. When my breath was escaping me, then you knew my path. On the road upon which I was walking, they sat upstairs for me. I looked to my right and observed there was no one friendly to me. Even flight was denied me. There was no one to take care of my life. I cried out to you, Lord, and said, You are my hope, my share in the land of the living. Listen to my supplication, for I am laid very low. Deliver me from my oppressors, for they have overwhelmed me. Release my soul from its prison, that I may praise your name. The just shall gather around me until you give me my reward. Out of the depths I cried out to you, Lord, O oh Lord, listen to my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If you retain sins, Lord, O oh Lord, who will be left? With you there is forgiveness. For your name's sake, O oh Lord, I have waited for you. My soul has waited for your word. My soul has hoped in the Lord. In haste the council of the Jews assembles to deliver the fashioner and creator of all to Pilate. O transgressors, O unbelievers, for they make ready to surrender unto judgment him who comes to judge the living and the dead. They prepare the passion of him who is the passion. Great is thy mercy, O long suffering Lord, glory to thee. From the watch of dawn until the night, from the watch of dawn let Israel long for the Lord. Judas the transgressor at the supper dipped his hand into the dish with thee, O Lord. Yet sinfully he reached out his hands to receive the money. He reckoned up the value of the oil of myrrh, and yet was not afraid to sell thee, who art above all price. He stretched out his hand, out his feet to be washed, yet deceitfully he kissed the master and betrayed him to the breakers of the law. Cast out of the company of thy apostles, he threw away the thirty pieces of silver and did not see thy resurrection on the third day. Through this thy resurrection, have mercy on us. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him abundant redemption. And it is he who redeemed Israel from all his iniquities. Judas the deceitful traitor, with a deceitful kiss betrayed the Lord and Savior. He sold the master of all as a slave to the transgressors. The Lamb of God, the Son of the Father, went as a sheep to the slaughter, for he alone is rich in mercy. Praise the Lord, all you nations, exalt him, all you peoples. 
Judah's servant and deceiver, disciple and traitor, friend and false accuser, was revealed by his deeds. For he followed the master, yet inwardly he plotted to betray him. He said to himself, I shall deliver him up and gain the money that is promised. He desired the oil of myrrh to be sold and Jesus to be taken by deceit. He gave a kiss and handed over Christ. And the Lord went as a sheep to the slaughter, for he alone is compassionate and loves mankind. For mighty is his love for us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. The Lamb whom Isaiah proclaimed goes of his own will to the slaughter. He gives his back to scourging and his cheeks to blows and turns not away his face from the shame of their spitting. He is condemned to a disgraceful death through sinless, he accepts all these things willingly, that he may grant to all men resurrection from the dead. And, uh, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Truly is Judas to be numbered with the generation of vipers who ate manna in the wilderness, yet murmured against him who fed him. And while the food was yet in their mouth, in their ingratitude they spoke against God. So Judas, in his impiety, still carrying in his mouth the heavenly bread, went out and betrayed the Savior. O oh, ever greedy heart, O oh, in human rashness, he sold the Lord who fed him, and the master whom he kissed, he delivered to death. Judas the transgressor is indeed their son, and with them he has inherited perdition. But deliver our souls, O Lord, from such hatred of mankind, for thou alone art boundless in long suffering. So be a for thee.
Brokeman on a Vesper. Rescue me, Lord, from an evil man. Deliver me from an unjust man. Rescue me, O Lord, from an evil man. Deliver me from an unjust man. Who have devised injustice in their hearts, prepared wars all the day. Rescue me, O Lord, from an evil man. Deliver me from an unjust man. Rescue me, Lord, from an evil man. Deliver me from an unjust man. Wisdom. The reading is from Exodus. Let us attend. The Lord said to Moses, Go down, solemnly charge the people, and purify them today and tomorrow, and let them wash their garments, and let them stand ready on the third day. For on the third day the Lord will come down onto Mount Sinai before all the people. Moses came down from the mountain to the people and hallowed them, and they washed their garments. And he said to the people, Get ready for three days, do not approach a woman. It came to pass on the third day when it was towards dawn, and there were sounds and lightnings and a dark cloud on Mount Sinai. The sound of the trumpet echoed loudly, and all the people in the camp trembled. And Moses led the people to the meeting with God outside the camp, and they took their stand beneath the mountain. The whole of Mount Sinai smoked because God had come down upon it in fire, and the smoke went up like the steam from a furnace. And all the people were greatly amazed, and the sounds of the trumpet increased, growing louder and louder. Moses spoke while God answered him with a sound. Peace to you, reader. Wisdom. Rescue me from my enemies, O God. Redeem me from those who rise up against me. Rescue me from my enemies, O God. Redeem me from those who rise up against me. From those who work iniquity and save me from men of bloodshed. Rescue me from my enemies, O God. Redeem me from those who rise up against me. Rescue me from my enemies, O God. Redeem me from those who rise up against me. Wisdom. The reading is from Job. Let us attend. <coughs> The Lord said to Job, out of the whirlwind and clouds, Who is this that hides counsel from me, keeping words in their heart, while he thinks to hide them from me? Gird your loins like a man, while I shall question you, but you answer me. Where were you when I founded the earth? Tell me if you possess understanding. Who laid its measures, if you know, or who drew out a line upon it? On what are its rings fixed? Who is the one who placed a cornerstone upon it? When the stars came into being, all my angels praised me with a loud voice. I fenced the sea with gates when it was being delivered. Coming out of its mother's womb, I placed a cloud for it as clothing. I swaddled it in mist. I placed limits for it, placing bars and gates round it. I said to it, as far as this you shall go, and you shall not go further, but your waves shall break in yourself. Or did I order the morning light in your time, the morning star to see its place, to lay hold on the wings of the earth, to shake off the ungodly from it? Or have you taken earth and clay and fashioned a living and speaking being? Have you placed him on the earth? Have you taken light from the ungodly and smashed the arm of the proud? Have you come to the source of the sea, trodden in the steps of the abyss? Do the gates of death open to you in fear? When they saw you, did hell's gatekeepers tremble? Have you been instructed in the breadth of the earth beneath heaven? Tell me, how great is it? In what land does the light pitch camp? What is the place of darkness? If you could bring me to its bounds, if you knew its path, would you know it? Because you had been born then, because the number of your years is great. Job answered the Lord and said, I know that you can do all things while nothing is impossible for you. For who is he that hides counsel from you? being sparing of words and things to hide them from you, who will declare to me what I did not know, great and wonderful things what I did not understand. Hear me, O Lord, and I shall speak. I shall ask you, but do you teach me? I have heard of your report by ear before, but now my eye has seen you. Peace to you, O reader. 
Wisdom. The reading is from the prophecy of Isaiah. Let us attend. The Lord gives me a tongue of instruction to know when it is right to say a word. The instruction of the Lord, the Lord opens my ears while I neither disobey nor gainsay. I gave my back to the scourges, my cheeks to blows, my face I did not turn away from the shame of spittings. And the Lord, the Lord became my helper. Therefore I was not turned back, but set my face as a firm rock. And I knew that I would in no way be shamed, because he who justifies me is near. Who the, is the one who contends with me? Let him stand up with me together. Who is the one who contends with me? Let him come near me. See the Lord, the Lord will help me who will do me wrong. See, you will all grow old as a garment, and as a moth he devours you. Who among you fears the Lord? Let him obey the voice of his servant. You who walk in darkness and in whom there is no light, trust in the name of the Lord and rely upon God. See all of you kindle a fire and make a flame strong. Walk in the light of your fire and in the flame you have set burning. Through me all these things have befallen you. In grief you will sleep. Peace you will read her. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, sing us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Let us remember our all holy, spotless, most highly blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, and commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ God.
the people plot in vain. The rulers gather together against the Lord and against his Christ. The rulers gather together against the Lord and against his Christ. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Let us attend. Brethren, I receive from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Whoever therefore eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of profaning the body and blood of the Lord. Let a man examine himself and so eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For anyone who eats and drinks without discerning the body eats and drinks judgment upon himself. That is why many of you are weak and ill and some have died. But if we judged ourselves truly, we should not be judged. But when we are judged by the Lord, we are chastened, so that we may not be condemned along with the world. Peace to read of the people were assembled in the court of the high priest who was called Caiaphas. They were taking counsel together in order to take Jesus by deceit and kill him. But they were saying not during the feast for fear that the people may cause a riot. Now when Jesus was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster, Simon the leper, a woman came to him with al an alabaster jar containing very expensive fragrant oil, and she poured it on his head as he sat at the table. But when his disciples saw this, they were upset and said, Why this waste? 
This oil could have been sold for a good amount and given to the poor. However, knowing this, Jesus said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? She has done a good deed for me. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. But by pouring this oil on my body, she did it to prepare me for burial. Amen, I tell you, wherever this good news is preached in the whole world, what this woman has done will also be told in memory of her. Then one of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priest and said, What are you willing to give me in order for me to hand him over to you? They weighed out for him thirty pieces of silver. From that time on, Judas looked for an opportunity to betray Jesus. Now on the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus and asked him, Where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat the Passover? He replied, Go into the city to a certain person and tell him, The teacher says, My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. The disciples did as Jesus instructed them, and they prepared the Passover. When evening had come, he was reclining at the table with the twelve. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come forth from God and was going to God, arose from supper and laid aside his outer garments. He took a towel and wrapped it around his waist. After that, he poured water into the basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and wiped them with the towel that he was wrapped around him. Then he came to Simon Peter, and Peter asked him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered him, You do not know what I am doing now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus replied, If I do not wash you, you have no part with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not only my feet, but also my hands and my head. Jesus told him, One who has bathed only needs to have his feet washed. Apart from that, he is completely clean. You are clean, but not all of you. For he knew who was going to betray him. And this is why he said, You are not all clean. And so after washing their feet, he put his out, outer garment back on, sat down again. He said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you say so correctly, for this is what I am. If I then, the Lord and the teacher, have washed your feet, you should also wash each other's feet. I have given you an example so that you too would do as I have done to you. Amen, amen, I tell you, a slave is not greater than his master, neither is the one who is sent greater than he who sent me. Now that you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. As they were eating, he said, Amen, I tell you that one of you will betray me. They were extremely distressed, and each one of them began to ask him, Surely not I, Lord. He answered, He who dipped his hand with me in the dish is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man goes, even as it is written of him, but woe to that man through whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had not been born. Judas, who betrayed him, said, Surely not I, Rabbi. And Jesus replied, You said it. As they were eating, Jesus took bread, gave thanks for it, and broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body. Taking up the cup, he gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is to be poured out for many for the remission of sins. 
But I tell you that from now on I will not drink of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. After singing the Psalms, they went out to the Mount of, Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, All of you will stumble because of me tonight, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go before you into Galilee. But Peter replied, Even if all the others will stumble because of you, I never will. Jesus said to him, Amen, I tell you that tonight before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even if I must die with you, I will not deny you. And all the disciples said likewise. Then Jesus arrived with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go there and pray. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and he began to feel sadness and anguish. Then Jesus said to them, My soul is extremely sorrowful, sorrowful even unto death. Stay here and watch with, with, with me. He went a little forward, fell on his face, and prayed, saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass away from me. Nevertheless, not what I will, but what you will. And an angel from heaven appeared to him, strengthening him. Being in agony, he prayed even more intensely, and his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down on the ground. When he returned to the disciples and found them sleeping, he said to Peter, Could you not watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray so that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again a second time he went away and prayed, saying, my father, if it is not possible to let this cup pass from me unless I drink it, let your will be done. Again he came back to the disciples and found them asleep because their eyes were heavy. He left them again, went away, and prayed a third time, saying the same words. Then he came to his disciples and told them, Sleep on now and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Arise, let us go. Behold, he who betrays me is near. While he was still speaking, behold, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, and with him came a great crowd with swords and clubs sent from the chief priests and presbyters of the people. Now he who betrayed Jesus gave them a sign, saying, Whoever I kiss is the one, seize him. Immediately he came to Jesus and said, Hail, Rabbi, and kissed him. Jesus said to him, Friend, why are you here? Then they came, laid hands on Jesus, and took him away. But behold, one of those who were with Jesus stretched out his hand, drew his sword, and struck the slave of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into his place, its place, for all those who take the sword will die by the sword. Do you not think that I could ask my father, and he would even now send me more than twelve legions of angels? How then would the scriptures be fulfilled, if that it must happen this way? In that hour Jesus said to the crowd, have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to seize me? I sat every day with you in the temple, teaching, and you did not arrest me there. But all this has happened so that the writings of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples left and fled. Those who had arrested, arrested Jesus took him to Caiaphas, the high priest where the scribes and the presbyters were assembled. But Peter followed Jesus from a distance to the court of the high priest. 
Having entered in, he sat with the officers to see what would happen in the end. Now the chief priests, the presbyters, and the whole council were looking for a false witness against Jesus so that they may might put him to death, and they found none. Even though many false witnesses were coming forward, they found none valid. But at last two false witnesses came forward and they said, This man said, I am able to destroy the sanctuary of God and build it in three days. The high priest stood up and said to Jesus, Do you not have any answer? What is that these people testify against you? But Jesus remained quiet. The high priest told him, I adjure you by the living God to tell us whether you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus replied, You have said it. Nevertheless, I tell you that after this, you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the power, coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his vestments and exclaimed, He has spoken blasphemy. Why do you need any more witnesses? Behold, now that you have heard his blasphemy, what do you think? They answered, He deserves death. Then they spit in his face and beat him with their fists, and some slapped him, saying, Prophesy to us, O Christ, who hit you. As Peter was sitting outside the court, a servant girl came to him and said, You too were th with Jesus the Galilean. But he denied it before them all, saying, I do not know what you are talking about. When he had gone out onto the porch, someone else saw him and said to those who were there, This man also was with Jesus of Nazareth. Again Peter denied it with an oath, I do not know this man. After a little while, those who stood by, came and came, stood by came and said to Peter, Surely you are one of them, for your speech reveals that you are a Galilean. Then he began to curse and swear, I do not know the man. Immediately the rooster crowed. Then Peter remembered the words which Jesus had said to him, before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. He went out and wept bitterly. In the morning, all the chief priests and the presbyters of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. They bound him, led him away, and delivered him up to Pontius Pilate, the governor. life 
peace, health, salvation, protection, forgiveness, and remission of sins for the servants of God who live in this city. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever to be remembered founders of this holy church and for our Orthodox fathers and brethren who have gone before us and who, here or elsewhere, lie asleep in the Lord. Again, we pray for those who bear offerings, those who do good works in this holy and most venerable church, those who toil, those who sing, and all the people here present who await from you great and abundant mercy. Manuel John, 
and John the protodeacon, Paul the hierodeacon, Malachi, the deacons Nicholas and David, the reader Romanos, Korea, Judy, Korea, Baker, Julia and Miguel, Bishara, George and Elena, Bishar, John and Ellen Murray, Antonine Scalia, and Gallagher, Kenan, Sakhalil, Joakim, Jamili, Wahab, Lillian, Rahal, Khalil, <coughs> Joaquin, Mary Baruti, Christina de Gregory, George Tabash, George and Lily Murray, Paul and Gertrude McBride, Ellen Murray, John Murray, the victims of war, that the Lord our God may grant their souls to rest where the just repose, that the Lord our God may remember them in his kingdom. Amen. That the Lord our God may remember us all in his kingdom at all times, now endeavor and unto the ages of ages. Amen. But as the thief do I confess thee, remember.
surround one with six wings the other with six wings with two wings they cover their faces two wings they cover their feet and with two wings they fly and they cry aloud one to the other with tireless voice and perpetual praise singing proclaiming shouting the hymn of victory and saying
man that sin had entered the world and death through sin. Your only begotten Son, he who was in your bosom, O you his God and Father, condescended to be born of a woman, the Holy Mother of God and of a Virgin Mary, to be born under the law in order to condemn sin in his flesh, that those who die in Adam may be brought to life in your Christ. And having lived in this world and offered precepts of salvation and turned us away from the delusion of idols, he brought us to the knowledge of you, the true God and Father, after purchasing us to himself as a favored people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. And after he had cleansed us with water and sanctified us with the Holy Spirit, he gave himself up as a ransom to death by which we had been held for having been sold into bondage by sin. And through the cross he went down into Hades that he might fulfill all things in himself. And he loosed the pains of death. And he rose again on the third day, preparing a way for the resurrection of all flesh from the dead, because it was impossible that the author of life be held by corruption. And he became the first fruits of those who sleep, the firstborn among the dead, so that in all things he might have primacy. And he ascended into heaven and sat down at the right hand of your majesty on high, whence he shall come to render every man his due. And he left us memorials of his saving passion, these which we have set forth by his command. For being about to go forth to his voluntary and eternally memorable and life-giving death, on the night wherein he surrendered himself for the life of the world, taking bread in his holy, spotless, and blameless hands, he presented it to you, his God and Father, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, and broke it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sin. Amen. On the same night, he took a cup of the fruit of the vine, mingled it, given thanks, blessed and sanctified it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Therefore, Master, remembering his saving passion, his life-giving crucifixion, his third day burial, his resurrection from the dead, ascension into heaven, and enthronement at the right hand, and his fourth glorious second coming, we offer you your own from what is your own in all and for the sake of all. We Oh. 
Francis, Pope of Rome, his beatitude, our holy patriarch Joseph, our father and bishop Francois, preserve them over your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, long life, rightly dividing the word of your truth. And for the archimandrite Mark, who offers these holy gifts for the salvation and divine protection of our government, for the salvation and health of the people here present, for those whom each of us has in mind, and for all men and women. Remember all men and women. Grant that with one mouth and one heart we may glorify and extol your most noble and magnificent name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Now that we have remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have spiritual fragrance may send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for unity of faith and communion of the Holy Spirit and let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ God. and without condemnation to call you Father, O God of heaven, and to say Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come
kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages.
fear of God with faith and with love. Amen. Amen. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has a of thy mystic supper, O Son of God, receive me today as a Communicant, 
For I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor will I give thee a kiss as did Judas. But like the thief do I confess thee, remember me, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Arise now that we've received the divine, holy, spotless, and mortal, heavenly, life-giving, awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us give worthy thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Now that we ask that this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Serve you, O Lord. You are our sanctification, and we render glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name the burning coal, whose foreshadowing the cherubim were unable to grasp. Today we have heard his sweet words, This is my body, which is broken for you, and given for the forgiveness of sins. This body Thomas touched as he cried out, My Lord and my God, by eating this body we are filled with joy. Again our life said, This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Beloved, we have drunk the earthly and heavenly blood. We have drunk the blood which enlightens us. See what kind of Lord we have who gives us his blood. This is the gift we have received. This is the mystery we enjoy. Who is able to worthily glorify this great gift? We have accepted the gift. Let us keep a genuine faith that we may become heirs of his kingdom. In love for God, let us ask peace for the church so that those teaching false doctrine may be shamed and brought down and Christ our Lord be glorified in all things together with his immortal Father and his all Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord now and forever. sessions of his spotless and all pure mother of the power of the precious and life-giving cross of the protection of the honorable and corporeal powers of heaven the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner john the baptist of the holy glorious praise where the apostles of the holy glorious victorious martyrs 
of our venerable and God-bearing fathers of the holy and righteous ancestors of Christ God, Joach and Manana, and of the saints whose memory we keep today, and of all the saints, may the same Lord have mercy on us and save us, for he is a gracious God and loves mankind. Amen. Of our holy fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Oh.